The U.S. Army Europe bids farewell to an artillery unit that's deactivating. The 4th of the 14th Field Artillery Battalion in Bomberg is casing its colors as part of the congressional drawdown of forces. The unit's main battle weapon is also being phased out of the Army arsenal. Specialist Craig Beeson reports. Howitzer units were among those scheduled for the first phase of withdrawal from Germany because the howitzer is being phased out. Bomberg's 4th Battalion, 14th Field Artillery, is one such unit. The soldiers held a ceremony to mark their farewell from Germany and from each other. Battalion Commander Lieutenant Colonel Gary Morgan says the decision to redeploy was made before Operation Desert Shield began. We were already well along in our redeployment. Uh, it was just too late to uh, change horses in the middle of the stream. It, uh, it made more sense to go ahead and complete the redeployment. Morgan called the 8-inch howitzer one of the most accurate weapon systems in the world. It fires a 200-pound projectile up to 18 miles, but it's slow to reload and the crew is exposed. So other systems will replace it. The Army has uh, decided to go ahead and fill more uh, efficient, less uh, labor-intensive weapon systems like MLRS. And that's uh, one of the reasons why the 8-inch battalions are going out of the Army, is we can get more bang for the buck people-wise with a system such as MLRS. So except for a handful of soldiers staying in Bomberg, the unit says farewell, not just to Germany, but to the Army. When a weapon system is phased out of the Army, so are the units which crew and service that weapon. So on March 1st, the 4th Battalion, 14th Field Artillery, will no longer be an active Army unit. Many of its troops will deploy to the Gulf. Others will deploy to units throughout the world to meet the needs of the Army. The farewell ceremony was held early while there were still enough troops here for a formation. Reporting from Bomberg, I'm Specialist Craig Beeson, AFN News. 7th Medical Command officials say some services normally offered at the 2nd General Hospital in Landstuhl have been moved. Outpatient clinics have been moved to Vogelway. Officials say the Vogelway Clinic has significantly expanded its space and medical staff and is open 24 hours a day. In addition, all active duty sick call for the Kaiserslautern military community has moved to Kleber Clinic. Well, tomorrow is Groundhog's Day. That's how some people predict the forecast for the rest of winter. But our weatherman prefers to use more scientific methods. Sergeant Rob Rios has our weather, Rob. Well, that's right, Pam. Uh, tomorrow is Groundhog Day, and as the saying goes, if Poxitani Phil makes it out and sees the shadow, that generally means a longer winter. Well, it looks like that might be the case tomorrow. This was the situation today, and you can see cloud-free skies breaking out over the central part of Europe. Actually, they were clear this morning, but becoming more apparent this afternoon as temperatures warmed up and developing more of a contrast between the clouds and the ground. You can also see a new system winding itself just southwest of Europe today, stirring up a little unsettled weather, some light rain, and drizzle, even changing the snow in some of the hills of the UK. Let's go ahead and take this off then, take a look at today's uh, surface map, and really the pattern hasn't changed from yesterday. High pressure to the East. Lots of sunshine across the central part of Europe. A little instability in the form of cloudy skies and rain towards the western part of the country today. Temperatures were off just a little bit from yesterday. You can see the numbers at 3 p.m. Only 40 the high in London, 34 here in Frankfurt. And with that flow coming in from the east, we'll continue to see quite a bit of cool, dry air settle in over the weekend. In fact, I expect this will be one of the coolest weekends we've seen over Europe uh, in the past uh, couple of months. Now, this is the temperatures uh, here in Germany this afternoon, 3 p.m. And the high was only 34 here in Frankfurt also just north in the Cologne Bonn region. And again, these will likely be some of the warmest temperatures, especially as we head to the weekend. In fact, uh, lows at night expected to fall into the teens. Single digits possible over some parts of uh, Germany tomorrow. Then, then tomorrow, uh, we should see return to more sunshine, certainly here across Germany. Look at these numbers, though. Highs tomorrow only in the 20s and lower 30s. In fact, even cooler air settling all the way down in Italy tomorrow. 30s down there. 40s returning to Spain. Now, warmer temperatures towards the west, but they'll have to contend with a little more unsettled weather over this weekend. Cloudy skies rain basically on and off throughout the Great Britain. So let's recap this. Take one more look at tomorrow's forecast.